To get started with Box, visit uark.box.com and enter your UARC credentials. Before we get started collaborating, I want to point out a few features here on the home screen. First, if you have folders already in your account, you'll notice there are three colors. The yellow folders are private and have no collaborators at this time. The blue folders have collaborators from within the University of Arkansas, while the gray folders have collaborators from outside the University of Arkansas. I also want to point out two ways to move around your account quickly. The first is the search bar at the top. It allows you to search for files and folders throughout your account. The second is the down arrow by all files. When selected, you'll be able to see a folder tree of your entire account here. Now let's create a place for our team to collaborate. To create a new folder, click New and then select Folder. It's important to name your folder something that makes sense to both you as well as future collaborators since it will appear in their box account as well. We'll name this folder UITS System Project Fall 2017. Now we need to add some content for our team. There are two ways to upload files and folders. The first is to simply drag your file and your folder into your browser. The second is to select Upload and select between File or Folder. After we have some content in our folder, we can invite collaborators. Because we're in the folder we wish to collaborate on, we select Share this folder and invite collaborators. If your collaborators are within the University of Arkansas, you can begin typing their name as you would an email. Otherwise, enter their email address here. Box provides seven permission levels for collaborators. Select the information icon to the right to see an overview of these different levels. We'll give Erin co-owner permission because she will need to add, edit, and remove files from our project folder. Let's also add art to our project folder. But with the viewer permission since he does not need to edit or delete files. Permission levels allow me to customize access for everyone depending on their role in the team. Keep in mind any files that Aaron and I upload to this folder will be instantly available to everyone collaborating on this folder. You can also create links to folders using the shared link option. This is great for sharing large files to individuals without size limitations found in email and with added security. To create a shared link, select share this folder and get shared link. You'll immediately be shown the link, but there are a number of options to customize sharing. First, you can select the access type. The first is people with the link, anyone that you email or IM the link to, people in your company, which is people at the University of Arkansas, or people in this folder. By people, they mean collaborators on this folder, Art and Aaron. There are additional options that can be found if you click the gear icon above the copy. You can create a custom link and you can also select a date for the link to expire on. For this example, we'll select September 29, 2017. This means the link will no longer be valid after this date. Box also integrates with Office 365, allowing you to edit Word files, Excel, and PowerPoint files from your browser and save them back to your Box account. You can do this by selecting the file and then select Open. You can open it in Word Online or in a local copy of Word. Box also creates versions of files so you can track changes as your team makes revisions. Using Box Notes, which is shown here, you can add comments and add tasks while adding a due date. In this example, we'll assign this to Art for September 15, 2017. Lastly, I want to show you how to edit some of your preferences within your Box account. You go back to your icon and select Account Settings. Here, you can set your home page to either be all your files, your favorites, or your most recent files. You can also set your notifications in Box so that it notifies you when someone downloads a file from your folders, uploads a new file, comments, previews, or deletes. I want to encourage you to go to Box University for additional documentation and training. Visit training.box.com and log in with your UARC account.